Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got Cloven Hoof and Sabbath Stones. Before I get on to reaction, a massive thank you to Lips for sending me this t-shirt. Amazing stuff. They're a melodic rock glam band. They got their great album, Changing the Melody. It's out everywhere now. Check it out and thank you to the band for sending me this t-shirt. Okay, Cloven Hoof and Sabbath Stones. Man, I covered a song from these guys oh, maybe three or four weeks ago. Loved it. The first song off the new album. Um, the new album's called Heathen Cross. This is the second song, Sabbath Stones. I love the little story behind this band. They were about in the 80s. They split up early 90s when it all went to shit with the early 90s, as you know. And then they came back not so long ago. Been going about 10 years, I believe, since the uh, getting back together. Um, and... What an amazing song the first one was. This is the second one. I can't wait to hear this. This is Sabbath Stones by Cloven Hoof. Here we go. love it i forgot to mention that ralph asked for this one uh, so thank you to ralph um and i missed this one. for some reason i don't know why i came across the first one and then ralph gave me a heads up on this one uh, for some reason uh, i just must have missed the algorithms or something i um, not doing their bit obviously um but man, wow i mean he did say there was headless cross feels on this song oh yeah oh yeah they, there are headless cross feels and there's nothing wrong with that one of the most you know, underrated eras of any band is the Tony Martin era of Black Sabbath, for sure. 
Um, he almost didn't stand a blimmin' chance, did they, at that point, with, you know, Dio going and all that. And But it, I'll tell you what, man, Tony Martin era of Sabbath, I love them. Really epic sounding. And that's what this, these guys really give off in this song, for sure. That sort of real cool, heavy, plodding pace of this song. The power riffs, just amazing in this song. It's got a galloping bass line, which I absolutely love. Um, it's got a real... I'll tell you what, there's a real sort of stripped back feel about the production on this as well. And I love that. It almost has that, you know, older sort of style production, but more dynamic, if you know what I mean. Not suffering from some of the modern productions we get now. Um, amazing high-end vocals, some screams coming out there. Um, I love that. The little bit of like the acoustic guitar playing, especially in that second round of verses where you get that sort of almost Spanish guitar feel in the in the verses there. And the production is really sort of giving that a dynamic feel. We can really hear that in the mix. Um, it's just a powerhouse of a metal song. It's just brilliant, man. Amazing stuff. So dynamic, so epic. Love both of these songs, man. They've been absolutely brilliant. <sighs> Just amazing stuff to think that, you know, obviously these guys have got a lot of Sabbath influences, you know, but they're not a Sabbath copy. It's not easy to walk that line, is it, having your influences quite high on your agenda, but but not sounding like a copycat band. And they don't do that. But there are other bands that do that and they just miss it totally. It's almost like a tribute band. These guys sound really fresh to me. Um, powerful stuff, for sure. Here we go for the rest, guys. Here we go. loved it i just loved everything about it man superb sort of bringing back memories at the same time but still sounding fresh that's how you get me that's how you get me you give me the sort of nostalgic feels but it's not nostalgia bait you get me because it's so fresh sounding as well i loved everything about that man they almost remind me of sorcerer as well the brilliant swedish band obviously they came a long time after cloven first started but hitting that Tony Martin, Dio, 
I mean, even Glenn Hughes sort of era of Sabbath perfectly, um, but giving her their own spin. Just brilliant soloing. I love the bit. I mean, every bit of it. I, it's so hooky because even the second time round of verses and choruses, I, I knew what was coming, which shows you that they were giving you real hooks with the guitar work and stuff. Um, there was that bit I kept. I can't remember what bit it is now, but it's right before the before the, the bridge to the chorus it is. It's the bridge just before the chorus. There's this great bit of guitar work. It's like this bluesy part, and I couldn't wait for it. But there's loads of stuff I couldn't wait for. Excellently crafted, excellently written. Man, what a song. That was Sabbath Stones by Cloven Hoof. Don't forget, guys, the album is coming out later this year, and it's called Heathen Cross. That's going to be one heavy, riffy, riff fest. A riffy riff fest. <sighs> Lee, you must get it right. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening. That's Cloven Hoof and Sabbath Stones. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you soon.